about a month ago when we were about to conduct our ground movement, Hamas thought they could stop us. They thought they could separate and cause a rift in Israeli society between those who will continue in their position that we should only stand on the line but only to negotiate and not to go in, and those who will say, forget the hostages, let's go in and defeat Hamas. Well, we have found a solution for this situation, and we now know, everyone knows, in Hamas and in Israel, that as long as you you deepen the uh, military actions, you achieve two goals. The first, you strike Hamas relentlessly and you destroy and kill more terrorists, more of its commanders, more of its terror infrastructures, tunnels and headquarters. But in this action, we also reach a point where they want a moment of silence and in exchange for that are willing to pay with something very important and that is hostages. The outcome of this action has brought to the return of 114 hostages, hostages to date, some of them Israeli civilians, most of them, and some foreign civilians.